Burning Man, the annual celebration that happens in the Black Rock Desert, is underway. And even when it's in the middle of a debate of people claiming that now it's gone rich and it's spoiled by these trust fund babies, there's still go there are going to be 70,000 people attending this festival. Ten of thousands are going to be left behind without a ticket. And there's going to be a group of people at the gate waiting for someone to leave early and get a pass in. This is a very popular festival, Margaret. It's, it's grown out of its place. Literally, they're, they're, they've been talking, and we reported earlier that they've been talking about moving out of Nevada because they have a new tax, 10% tax on the festival, and oh. the sheriff department now is enforcing all types of tickets and, and nonviolent crime uh, fines. Right. But the reality is that the leadership of, Black, of, of Burning Man, they want to you know, make a place that they can call home. So they're looking into buying permanent land and moving the festival and not moving it, but growing it out of this, this yearly gathering that is going to continue happening. But now they want to develop land. This, call, this place is amazing. It's called the Fly Ranch. Mm -hmm. And the Fly Ranch is 4,000 acres. Of those, 800 are wetlands, 23 hot and cold geysers and springs, and 4,000 feral horses. This is like nature's paradise, and they're trying to build a community there. Everything is going to be built with unpainted ram earth and salt, very earthy, very hippie. But... You know what is happening right now as we speak. When people, it's there in, in Burning Man, mm -hmm. they're giving tours out to no others than Elon Musk, Sergey Brin, Chip Conley. I mean, we're talking about some of the richest people in the world that nice. might be the investors to create this utopia of permanent Burning Man. I mean, so are you upset that they're going to privatize Burning Man? Is that what I hear you saying? I mean, it totally sounds like a theme park that it's Burning Man, Burning Man land. Right. But Maybe they have this utopia of where we can develop a new and tech lab. Because that's the thing. That's one of the main uh, cri critiques that have happened towards Burning Man lately is that now that they're so popular with the tech sector, they that they've gone in with their tiers. money and can they have a two-tier structure right. where you can go and have the experience at the playa where you're really battling out with the elements or you can be in your posh site and your AC and your private chef. What's and wrong with that? There's nothing okay. wrong with that. But I mean, the, here's the thing. The debate comes from the older burners, the ones that were there from the beginning that feel that the root of it is getting lost and is becoming just a thing for profit and that outgrew the 10 values of the 10 principles of burn, burn, uh, Burning Man that include radical inclusion and extreme devotion to gift giving. I hope those guys, the techs, they give, <laughs> give the passes to their camps, to the people that don't have enough money like them. May I ask you something? So very um, enjoying your analysis here, but on a sidebar, would you ever go to Burning Man? Yes, I would. I haven't had the experience to go. It's something that um, on paper sounds really, really interesting and something right. is human. At the same time, the concept is not new. I mean, the Greeks were doing these yearly gatherings where people right. go and empty themselves of their consciousness to adopt other experiences tens of thousands of years ago. So it's nothing new, and, and the ephemeral part of it, that's why the burning of the man, because we construct something and then we burn it down and we start all over again. Now that is gonna change that we have our burning oh, man we privatized land. it, we have a two-tier structure, those for the wealthy and those for the poor, and uh, oh, we've got a, we've got a caste a system going now. on. Uh-oh, it's, it's not the whole, the whole experience, you know, that, that original intense lost. Um, Look, I, I don't know if that's such a bad thing. Maybe to, maybe progression in life, you know. It the was progression bound to always goes to capitalism and sell tickets. And now uh, it's five hundred dollars to go. But in the beginning, it was not a money thing. Right. You will go, one pay, share your resources, and that was the whole point of Burning Man to share and oh. to build in community. Now you don't have to share. You don't have to build. You can fly things over. You can fly a whole, you know. Camp, you know, camp there for you to live the same way you live in the city. And I think the beauty of these festivals, and it's something that I do believe humanity needs more, is to get away from comforts and I'm get away from what they that. have. You, you know, have appreciate nature for what it is and appreciate technology and appreciate uh, the, our way of living for what we accomplish. But at the same time, we need to be balanced. But we want to know where do you stand, do you think, or do you want to add something? No, 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 I'm, I'm with you on that. No, I, I, no, you go cool. ahead. Awesome. Well, we want to know where do you stand. Let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe to the Lib TV.